What's going on YouTube? Zap here and I'm back with some Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition gameplay. And uh, today I wanted to talk to you guys about a little something something. And that is uh, the fighting game community, right? Now a few of you guys would consider me a member of the FGC, which I'm really not. You know, me for the most part, I'm just a guy who really enjoys um, you know, Mortal Kombat and Injustice and Super Street Fighter 4. And I upload these videos to YouTube so that you guys can enjoy them. And over the course of doing so, I've pulled in a lot of people who may have not really had any interest in playing games like Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and Injustice, and gotten them to actually play them and enjoy them wholeheartedly. So, um, that's really my goal, that's really my, my aim with this channel now, is to get people more interested and more, you know, willing to try something a little bit different and so far it's worked out pretty well and um, I don't really consider myself uh, a member of the FGC as of yet but I'm really working towards so you know I wanna I wanna be a more familiar face at these tournaments I wanna be uh, you know wearing a shirt that says you know uh, a tournament organizer or something like that you know, I wanna be that guy that everyone is looking to I wanna probably hold my own like uh, monthly tournaments or something like that you know some something like that that's what I'm working towards and I I'm I'm definitely gonna take the time to get myself into that space and that mindset to where I'm actually a true member of the fighting game community and I'm doing my part to contribute but as of right now my main my main focus is this YouTube page and uh, getting those of you guys out there who may not have ever thought about playing a fighting game into playing more of them and going out to uh, support your scene, support the the game that you play the most, right? And what I mean by that is it's totally different when you're watching a stream than it is when you're actually there in person, okay? Uh, being a stream monster and being an actual uh, player or an attendee at these events is totally different. It's a totally different feeling, a totally different uh, perspective on it now I'll be the first to tell you that when I when I was here and I was watching these streams I was like yo there's absolutely no scene out here in Virginia like there's no freaking way and I remember someone in the stream chat telling me like well you know Blackula does these these tournaments and it's called top of the food chain and they're doing top of the food chain 3 coming up like next month and I was like oh really and he sent me the link to it. I forgot who he was. It was a really, really, really helpful person in the chat one day. Um, and he sent me the link to Top of the Food Chain. And I've been going to Top of the Food Chain the last three times. I've been to Top of the Food Chain three, four, and five. And I will be attending six in February and seven in April. So he told me about that, and I went. You know, I also went to Civil War just this past uh, just this past year which was huge, uh, like all the top fighting game players were there, um, you know, you had, you had Arturo, you had Nerd Josh, you had um, Chris G, you had Tom Brady, you know, I saw all these guys in person, up close, and the hype that was surrounding a lot of the matches that were going on was so goddamn real. Like, it's different when you see it on stream than when you actually see it in person, because I went back to watch some of the stream archives from Civil War and it just wasn't the same. It was just an absolute uh, feeling of awe seeing a lot of this stuff happen. So what am I trying to say is if you have any sort of concern that yeah I, 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 w I might want to go to one of these tournaments but I'm not good, trust me, just go to the tournament anyway, you know, maybe sign up sign up play the game that you're gonna play whatever you might lose you may you might win you never know but just go there experience it have fun you'll meet someone play some casuals you'll you'll definitely learn something I'll tell you that much you will learn all you need to learn about your game and the, the results are starting to show in in my uh, tournament placings in these last few top of the food chains I'm doing a lot better um, I'm learning some matchups, I'm learning some, some things about Injustice that I didn't really know before, right? And I'm meeting some people, right? It's cool because, it's cool because now I go 
into the venue, I go into Club uh, Club Relevant for top of the food chain, and people greet me at the door. They're like, yo, what's up, Zappa? What's going on, bro? You know, people are high-fiving me, shaking my hand, and it's a really, really good feeling to know that you're a, a part of this small-knit community in this area that shares a huge interest in a single community in other regions as well, like New York, West Coast, Midwest, uh, down south, all over the place, you know, Texas, all that stuff. You know, we got all these different, all these different branches in the fighting game community that all have one common interest, and that's these games, that's the hype, that's the prestige, that's the, the love of the games that we play, and the respect that we have for each other as fighting game players, right? So, I, I highly encourage you guys out there to pick up your controller, pick up your fight stick, go to your nearest tournament, you know, there's there's, there's always places, go to event hubs, go to shoreyoucan.com and look it up, I guarantee you there will be something in your area, even if you have to make a, a little bit of a drive um, just to get to where you're going, uh, I guarantee you it'll be worth it, it'll be worth it, you'll have fun, and I, I'm just saying man, It's you're definitely missing out if you don't go at least one time. I'm telling you, dude. You will you will definitely wish that you went. So, with that being said, I I love this community. I'm glad that they uh I'm glad that they open open with open arms, excuse me. I'm glad that they willingly let me into their community with open arms and you know, didn't just throw me out because I was just some YouTube scrub. They said, "You know what? Come on in. You know, thanks for you know, boosting up the hype in the in the stream chat, boosting up the viewers, blah 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 blah, and thanks for just showing up. You know, I, there's there's other things I could have been doing with my time, but I honestly can't see myself doing anything differently uh, aside from going to these tournaments now every two months. <laughs> I have the most fun at these places, and I I legit I legit enjoy it. I le I enjoy doing this for the community for you guys and it's just a personal hobby of mine that I that I enjoy now so with that being said let me know what you guys think um, in the comment section and uh, yeah man I, I enjoy the FGC I really enjoy it and I hope that this community continues to grow and hopefully I can you know expand on what a lot of people have already done already uh, but one one side note on one of my future fighting game streams I plan on doing a giveaway uh, Cami, who did the design for my Injustice t-shirt she is going to try and hook me up with some spare shirts um, for both the Injustice as well as the uh, Street Fighter designs that she has and she's going to hook me up with them so that I can do a giveaway on one of my live streams so when that actually you know occurs I'll let you guys know so you can hop in on that live stream and try and win you some free t-shirts um, I'll leave links to the designs that she has in the description below but uh, other than that thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video peace